The premise of Dear Evelyn is that of a 70 year long marriage, that's seven decades, between two people who one might say are, are possibly at least incompatible, I leave that up to the reader to decide, but certainly their relationship is a very complicated and difficult one, not a straightforward love affair at all. My parents in the last years of their life became um, very argumentative and embattled and at the same time mum clearing out the house um, presented to us all the love letters that my father had written to her during the Second World War. I became very curious and motivated to imagine my way through that journey which I decided to do using fiction and uh, to ask myself questions about um, how come one thing had become the other? What were the stages of it? Was it inevitable? And was love still hiding in that embattled last phase? I was using my father's letters with his permission in the story. And at the point where I found myself starting to edit them and cut bits out and then to write new bits in, the thing took off and I was free of the so-called facts and um, actually inventing the story. Most of us are in some kind of important, uh, intimate relationship, or we want to be, or we have been, or we're curious about other people's close, intimate relationships. And I just want people to go away with a sort of heightened awareness and perhaps concern and care um, for what is between them and th their other person. I can't have you back. Evelyn had told him. She was always very blunt, a good quality in many ways, and of course it must have been very hard for her to say, sorry, or I hate doing this, would have sweetened the pill, but there it was, give her credit, I can't have you back. 